Welcome back to Gene Forge 2. Still in my dab here. Luckily no one's dabbed yet. Stop saying dab. Leets, isn't that a name from Gene Forge 1? Don't remember. This server is very young. He's probably only 10 or 12 years old. Not old enough to work, but not old enough... Not... What? Not old enough to work, but old enough to be put to work by the Shapers. Actually, wasn't this the kid who, like, stole the dagger in the first one, who was playing in the fields, but they're a bit older now? Consistency! So this can't take place very long after the first game, maybe. I mean, especially considering Learned Pinner is apparently still alive. Anyway, he's very scared of you. When you ask who he is, he only says, Leets! It's pretty Leet, that is. Mad Hacksaw. Where are you from, Leets? He says in a quiet voice, Susie Island. How did you get here? Shapers came to our island. Bad things happened. Pinna took me away and made me safe. Only you. What did the Shapers do? One was good, one was kind to me. Was that me? I mean, previous me. It's alright, you wouldn't understand. But the rest, they didn't like us serviles. Most of us are gone now. Pinna took me away. Um, Leeds doesn't run away, but he's clearly scared of you. Why are you scared of me? I, I'm sorry, Shaper, I will obey you. Damn right you will, child. Oh, he bows his head. Whatever happened to him, it must have been awful. Whatever. You little brat. God. What's going on in here? Oh, it's another shop, innit? Yeah, it is. What have you got? Living tours. Buy without question. Basically, where did this come from? Where did a chain mail vest come from? Get rid of it. Did I accidentally steal that at some point? Luckily no one seems to be peed off at me, so... I guess it's fine. Oh, you've got another living tool. Can you sell that one as well? Fuck's sake. Leeds is the same size as everyone else. He grew quick. Wait. <laughs> Fuck. No, oh, don't bother reacting to it. You had enough reactions to it in the first bloody game. You're all dried up. Alright, well... Well, there's bugger all in here, isn't there? All merchants must register, yeah, the huge. Where does this go? Eastern Medab. What the hell? A double-sized city. That's ridiculous. Maybe it isn't, though. I'd rather not have four parts of looking around town, though. Shaping chamber, that sounds very illegal. Oh, quick, he's gone out. No! Go back outside. Look at these. I could get 90 quid. Carnelian. You meet a fellow shaper. She's not much older than you. She has a small shaping hall here where she seems to be working to aid the rogues and rebels of Medab. She seems very uncomfortable when you enter, as w and well she should be. It has probably been a while since she came face to face with one of her own kind. She says, Hello, fellow shaper. I'm Carnelia, and I hope you are well. You mean one of her kind? I'm male. Yeah, I know, shaper. I could use some training. Can you help me? I'll be glad to help you, but there is little I can teach you. You should go northeast. That is where Medab has built a complex for the study of magic. Leave Medab to the east and follow the road. Yum. What can you teach me? Oh shit, what do you mean there's little you can teach me? Look at this knob. A what knob? Augmentation. There it is. Does this only speed one person? I wish I could read it. Might as well get unlock as well. I'll get them all. Yeah, get them all. None of these, though. Maybe that. Right, that's what all the money is for, you know. It'll probably get cheaper if I actually help them. Yeah. Since you're not awakened, prices are high. But whatever. I don't spend it on much else, do I? Right, yeah, we don't need to learn anything else. Wait! What do you want, then? Hang on. No, I don't want either of those anyway. I don't think Roma shoots, maybe. 
they do in the remake. First one, anyway. What do you want, then? How did you come to be here, helping these rogues? It's a long story how these settlements came to exist, and learned Pinna can tell it better than me. Oh, yeah, we still got to talk to her. That's going to be forever. Chat. And all I can say is that I was an assistant to Zachary once, when he went to a place called Susia Island. Whoa, what's that place? God, we keep hearing about it. Do they expect people who play this not to talk to everyone or something, so they just give the same information to five different people? In the same map? There we discovered many powerful Shaper secrets. Secrets that we thought we could use to make the world better. And you did, look at this grass. Smoke it, no don't. So we came here and in secret created these settlements. But why are you living with the Serviles? Because in my time on Susi Island, I got to see what Serviles were like when they left to live on their own, or when left. I learned that they have their own intelligence and philosophy, and I learned to respect them. That is the main reason I came to hide up here. The Shapers have great power, but they do not have great wisdom to go with it. Um, you know what? I can't be asked to... I don't know. Yeah, I probably can't be asked to, like, keep opinions to myself. Whatever. It's hard to say this, but I'm starting to believe that you're right. I'm glad to hear it. We had hoped that when you saw me... Wait, what? Me? When you saw what we had built here, you would come to see justice in our cause. What? Wait, book, suddenly. Anything else, Shaper? Carnina shifts awkwardly from foot to foot as she talks to you. Why? I just told her I like her thoughts, or whatever. Um, what work do you do here? I do what I can to help Medab, though my skills are modest. I heal the servers when they fall ill. I make the occasional creation to help defend the town, and maintain the turrets at the gates, and so on. Yeah, good, don't continue, it's too much boredom. However, I have much, a much grimmer quest. Unfortunately. Where am I getting these words from? Recently, the servals have started to fall ill from a new disease. I fear that it is a side effect of the many Shaper experiments that have taken place recently. I fear we have made a new illness. Oh, great, topical. No, that's, like, coming to an end by now. It would have been topical if I did this instead of Grimrock 2. So far, it has only made the servals weak and made their skin dry easily and peel off. Oh, is that all? That's fine. Peeling skin. Nothing to worry about. It's not like your flesh and, I mean, your muscles and blood are going to flop out. But it is getting worse. I'm struggling to find a way to cure it. Um, you cure the servals? You don't just make more of them? Obviously. Oh no, believe me, the servals are more than capable of making more servals on their own. Sex. They're quite good at it. Making a new living thing is very difficult and tiring for shapers, thus creations that the shapers want more of, like servals and orcs are made fertile, so they can reproduce. What servals and orcs can reproduce with each other? Whoa! Cow people! On the other hand, dangerous creations like Fioras and Thuds are made infertile. A few rogue Fioras having litters of babies in the wild can cause all sorts of problems. Like horniness! Um, anyway, for me that is... Not, not if they're like newborn though, obviously. I'm just talking about because they're reptilian. Anyway, you, you get it. Is there anything I can do to help cure the servals? Well, the healing potions I've been using to soothe them are not strong enough for the more advanced cases. If you could find and bring me some strong healing spores, it would be a big help. Do I have any? I don't know. I found a book I would like to translate. Did I? Is there a library around here? There aren't many books in these mountains. I do know that there is a small library in the complex to the northwest. That is where the servars of Madab practice and learn magic. Thanks. What do you mean quest? Uh, strong healing spores. I guess healing spores aren't strong. Whatever. I've just got normal ones. That's not even a healing pool. It's beans! Oh, hello. What have we got here, eh? Good. I'll take it. I'll also take these. Oh, you've got healing spores in here. 
Can't believe this. Or you go outside. These will fetch me a pretty experience. Hey, go in there. Go in. So I can close you in there. Trying to get myself in a good... No, whatever. It ain't worth it. Not again. Why are there just pots in the middle of the road? Bloody hell. There's so many books here that pop up every time I take a few steps. Madab has a pair of small docks extending into the lake. The lake. It looks like they used the water to move town building supplies through here to other settlements. There may even also they may even also have some crude trade. The docks are abandoned though, they haven't been used for a few months. Something must have happened to make boat travel dangerous or no longer necessary. Yeah, I think I've gathered it by now, you know, the, they had a falling out and stuff. Only everybody in the game talks about it. God. God. Hello? No. I'm not talking to you, God. Wait, you're me. Ah, yes, I am God, aren't I? Ah. God of YouTube, anyway. Fuck. Not really, no. There's nothing in these. Why is the ground coming out of the building? God, they didn't put any effort into these games, did they? Wait, there's a door over there. Hello. What the fart? Who's lurking over here? I guess there's Pinner's place there. Right, we're about to, we're about to get a Lord of the Rings novel length. Well then. Major healing pod. Nothing. What's the fluffing point? It's probably their storage. And it's rather empty because they're rubbish. Right, let's go say hi to our old friend that we've never met before because we're a different character in this game. You're standing in front of that sign, by the way, dude. Can I read it? Town Hall. Cashia. Wait, I just talked to you at the entrance. Just talked to you as if it wasn't 40 bloody minutes ago now. You meet Cashia again. Ah, Shaper, I'm glad you have made it. Land Pinner is beyond the door at the end of the hall. Oh, wait, is it he? He points to the north. First, though, I need to speak with you. I want to be sure you intend our leader no harm. That's oh, alright, I'll just say lies then and kill him later. Uh, anyway, I'd like to speak to Pinner. And Pinner would like to speak with you. However, these are dangerous times, and we have much to fear from many people, including, I'm afraid, the Shapers. You dare bring light into my lair? No. But we believe the Shapers are honourable. Yeah, right and that we must be prepared to deal with them. Therefore, we would like to take you at your word. If you will swear that no harm will come to Pinna by your hand, I will allow you to see her. Swear? I fucking... Oh, shit. Not that kind, sorry. This is a strange request. No loyal Shaper would ever feel bound by a promise made to a creation. After all, Shapers feel that creations owe their makers total obedience in return for their existence. Do these creatures realise this? You aren't sure. I don't care either. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'll just go with the first one, I guess. The third one almost looks like a leadership option, but I don't know. Whatever, let's just keep it simple. I swear then, I will not harm Pinner. Thank you, Shaper. It is good to hear that. Cashew walks to the end of the hall and unlocks the door. Then he returns to his seat. Learned Pinner would like very much to meet you. Yeah, I know. She did before as well. Cashew wants to do anything else, Shaper. Who do you think would cause Pinna harm? You, for one. I just said I wouldn't. There are many other hostile ones in the mountains, but we see you as our greatest threat now. And yet you unlocked the door for me. That's just because they expected you to say this first, I guess. And not talk about it after already saying you wouldn't. What is normally your job here? I am Pinna's assistant. She is old, so I handle the day-to-day -day work of the, the Awakened. Organising training, answering philosophical questions, dealings with merchants and the other settlements, keeping the peace. 
Bella trusts me, and I labour hard to win her trust. You don't have to win her trust, she already trusts you, you just said. Right, whatever. I'm going in to be pinned down. Which one did you unlock? Holy shit, look at all these guards. See ya. Fuck. Not messing with them. Oh my god, I haven't talked to her yet. Ah. Let me sum it up for you. Uh, you enter a big hall, learned pinner is here, talk to her now. There we go. Simple version. No. This hall is very strange, its floor is covered with gently glowing green tiles, and there are four shaping platforms in the corners. The chamber crackles with magical energy, barely held in check. The defences here are strong. There is a lone servile in the centre of the room. She is very old, a far more advanced age than most serviles make it to. She stares at you with a complete lack of subservience. God! Experienced eyes size you up. I'm not very big, I'm afraid. Trying to figure out what you will do. The servo says, Welcome, Shaper. I am glad you have come to see me. I am Learned Pinner, current leader of Medab and of the Awakened. Elra died, I think someone said. Whether you ac accept it or not, we have much to discuss. I don't accept it, so I'm just not gonna, you know... Would she summon things if I attacked her? Holy shit. Here we bloody go then, let's hope 14 minutes is enough. Learned Pinner says, Now that you are here at last. Oh, don't say hi then. Or maybe she did in the intro text, whatever. Now that you are here at last, there are things I must tell you. You are a shaper. Yeah, I know that. Thanks. Thanks for the update. Soon you might return to your kind and say what you have found here. Then, I fear, we will all be destroyed. It is important, I think, that one of us tell you our story before anything horrible happens. I've already learned it. Don't bother. I want to tell you where we came from. I already know, Susi Island. And then you might see that we should have the right to live after all. Go on then. I would like to hear your story. I wouldn't, but do it anyway. I'm glad you're interested. I didn't say I'm interested, I just said I'd like to hear it. But I guess I'd like. God. Please be patient with one who is old and tired. There is much to tell. You can't be that tired. Look at all this talking you're doing. About the history of your people and about the things that were done to us. I don't want to know. It's gross. I was born on a place called Susia Island. I doubt you have heard of it. Ugh, I bloody well have from like everybody already. For your people abandoned it and kept it a secret. It was a place where your kind did research, some sort of forbidden research I do not myself understand. They made something called the Gene Forge. Oh, name drop! It was some sort of pool that could make one of your kind incredibly powerful, or melt them as we experienced. Om yum, trash cough. I don't understand it. What I do understand is what was done to us, to the serviles. What was done to the serviles? Sushi Island was abandoned and barred by the Shapers. The penalty for a visit was death. Yeah, I know. But the island had many serviles on it, who did the work for the Shapers. And the Shapers just left us there, to starve, I suppose. But we lived. We were hungry and hunted, but we survived. With no Shapers to tell us what to do, we developed our own thoughts and skills. And our own ideas. We lived on our own for many years. Well, that rhymed. Thoughts and skills, and on our and our own ideas, we lived on our own for many years. Do 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 douche. Yeah, right, douche. If you have wondered how we servos got so smart, now you know. No, I don't know. I just know that you did. Wait, no, because they they learned to survive out of necessity, I guess. Whatever. We lived like that for years. You already said years. Eventually, becoming almost happy, but then a shaper found our island. A shaper found you? That's what she said! Oh fuck. Outsiders from over the sea called the Sholai. What? You said a shaper found you, not the Sholai. Came to Sushi Island and started to loot the treasures there. Then they kidnapped a shaper to teach them how to use the power of the Gene Forge. The shaper refused. There was fighting, I don't know the details, but the shaper escaped the island. Me. He told the Shaper Council what happened. They came to Susie Island, and our peace ended. So, spoilers for the first game. 
just sum up the whole story in one sentence. The Shapers are going to destroy us. We were too smart and independent, but two of the Shapers who came to Susie Island had different ideas. Their names were Zachary and Barzal. They wanted the power of Susie Island for themselves, yeah, didn't we all? They stole some of the secrets there. No, they didn't. I already did. Before them. Guess I missed some. God. Always do. They also helped many of us smart servals to escape in return for our helping them. Zachary and Barzal took the secrets, and they helped many of us slip away. We all came here. What if I chose to destroy the Gene Forge, though? There weren't many secrets to take after that. What happened when you got here? We built all this. All that you see around you. The towns, the roads, the forests. We made it all. Zachary stayed in Dry Peak. We stayed here to conceal what we were doing. I helped build Madab for the Awakened. Barzal went west and built the city of Ri Rising. I saw it as Risbug somehow for a moment. What the hell? Where he could do his research. Finally, some embittered serviles went into the wastes to the west to form Zas Us. And then the arguments started. More arguments. Oh, no, look at it all. Ah, <sighs> Though all our labours, and through all our labours, we knew that we were in great danger. If the Shapers ever found us, we would be attacked and destroyed. Well, I found you, and you weren't, so, you know. In time, each settlement came up with their own way to deal with the threat. We of the Awakened want to make defences for these valleys, to make ourselves safe from the Shapers. Then we will contact them and deal with them it as equals. Barzal and the Shapers of Rising are much more militant. They'd want to make an army and form our own nation out here in the wilderness. Taking more land if they can, they will fight the Shapers. It will destroy them. Well, it will destroy the Rising or the Shapers. Obviously Rising. And the Servals of Zasus are mad. They want to destroy the Shapers entirely. What? I thought Rising was the anti-Shaper faction. Have we got two anti-Shaper factions in this one? I mean, I guess Awakened are kind of anti-Shaper as well, but not that extremely. Um, uh, they want to destroy the Shapers entirely, even though it will result in their own deaths. We have all grown afraid and paranoid, and the settlements to the west have, ex have responded by turning on us. It is mad, but there we are. What does this have to do with me? God. It's like Squall. Whatever. Dot dot dot. It's basically what I said there. I want to tell you of our beliefs, of the Awakened. I want to try and convince you to help us. You are young. How do you know? Your vision... Oh, I am in the game. Sorry. Your vision might not have been clouded by shape of propaganda and shape of power. Oh, believe me, it has been clouded by power, but... You know, joining you might lead to more power. I want you to help us. Help us to survive and live in peace. Um... Um... I don't know, I guess three. I would like to hear what you have to say. It sounds like the Shapers are treating you unjustly, and I might want to help you. You know, it doesn't confirm anything. Yeah. I'm very glad to hear it. I know that your people are not free of wisdom or mercy. God, well there we go. That was a dump, wasn't it? A big one. Been holding that one in for me to arrive. Learned Pinner stares at you silently waiting to see what you have to say. As you speak with her, you begin to realise how incredibly old she is. I already did. You had no idea that Servals could live for so long. Um, I guess I'd like to know more about the Awakened. Our beliefs are simple, Shaper. We believe that we Servals are intelligent and independent creatures, deserving of rights and respect. We feel that we should be able to deal with the Shapers as equals. We believe that nothing should be taken. Well, too late for that. <laughs> If we could give you some, if we give you something, we should get something in return. In short, we believe in justice for our kind. What about mine? We would like you to ally yourselves with us. We would like you to join us. If there is still a part of you that feels that creations are treated cruelly and that servals deserve some justice, I ask you to support us. Not yet. Um. I don't want to join yet. I will think on what you have said, but I'm not sure. Wait, did you create the Awakened? No, but I knew the Servile who did. His name was Elra. 
El Hra. He was our leader on Susi Island. He was so wise, so strong. He was actually, he was a pain in the ass. Um, I have never known and never will meet his like again. But his strength is not infi was not infinite. The strain of losing all he built coming here and rebuilding took too much out of him. He fell ill and died. Get some strong healing spores in the future. I mean in the past. Yeah. His tomb is to the north. Oh, I wonder if we get to go there. Probably. If you wish, one day you should go north and visit it. It will always it is always worthwhile to pay respects to the truly great, whatever their species. Right, I'll think on what you've said, but I'm not sure. Fair enough. Look around. Talk to the servals here. See what your kind has done to us. Maybe one day you will change your mind. I guess I'll record it. Ah, <sighs> right. Guess I'll do the rest before I enter the part. I mean, we're not there yet anyway, but almost. I'm looking for someone named Barzel. Do you know where he is? I already know where he is, but you got to clear all the dialogue, ain't you? Oh yes, I know Barzel well. He is the leader of the City of Rising, to the northwest, southwest, I mean. Sorry, I'm getting old. I gave you wrong information. Please don't smite me. Whoa! There, dead. Um, there, he uses stolen shape of knowledge to make himself strong and mad in equal measures. You can go meet him if you want. He may have much of interest to tell you. That is, of course, if he doesn't stab you first. Uh, I've lost my trainer. Her name is Shanti. Do you know where she is? I do not know of her. I'm sorry. Where the hell has she buggered off to then? Has she gone to Rising? Probably not. However, the scouts who came to aid you said that they saw in the distance a fight between your attackers and another human. They knocked the human out and dragged it off. It? Excuse me. Um, it was all seen from a distance though. Whether it was your trainer or not, I do not know. Can you give me any sort of training or assistance? Me, no. All of our training and magical work takes place in the caves two days walk to the northeast. That's a big walk just for some training. If you go to our research warrens, you can be trained. What if the town gets attacked and you're not trained well enough? Hold on guys, I'm just going to go go do some training. Uh, it'll take a couple days and then a couple days to get back. Oh, Alright, we'll wait. No. Of course, in standard awakened fashion, you will have to pay for the help we give you. God. And tell me about the other settlements in these mountains. There is Dry Peak. Yeah, I know that one. I've been there. That's the mask of. That's the mask that hides from the shapers what has been happening in these mountains. Then there is Rising to the Southwest. They are warriors determined to fight the shapers, and by fight I mean antagonize. Whatever that means. Antagonist. As in be the bad guys. And there is Zasus to the west. It is ruled by the surviving takers. Yeah, those were in Kazg. Rising and Zasus sound like the same bloody thing. Where's the obeyers in this game? The ones that obedient. I mean, obey. The ones that are obedient, yeah. A sect on Suicide Island are dedicated to vengeance and the destruction of the Shapers. They are quite mad. You'll be at great risk if you go there. And as if times are not hard enough, our people have started to get ill. Servos are falling ill. Yes, a new disease. It makes us weak and tired and harms our skin. That is as bad as it has gotten so far, but I think it will get worse. You should talk to Carnelian about it. She's a shaper too. She has been working to cure us. Ah, it's over. Right, quickly, what's in here? That's a lot of living tools, so I'm not going to go with whatever's in here. Unless it's like mega good. You flip through the book. Since there seems to be Madame's council chamber and planning room, you expect to find interesting information. You aren't disappointed. Pinna and her lieutenants use this book to keep track of the locations of awakened outposts and troop movements. Pardon me if you heard it, you shouldn't have. You read through the book, quickly memorizing some of the more interesting and potentially useful knowledge. If you decide to be treacherous, some of this information might be very valuable to Madab's enemies. Well, I'm not gonna. Learned Pinner is clearly prepared to make a quick escape. Coward! From Madab, if necessary. You have found a small private dock and boxes and bags of supplies. It's a little bit evil seeing all this stuff and getting information and then loading it. 
There's some pretty good stuff. I'm not taking any of it because I, I am going to load it. You know, I may still have more living tools than I need, but... Got the pathing. The pathfinding. What have we got in here? More stuff. Yep, quite a lot. I mean, there's some living tools in here that I'll get back, but it's not enough. Is this another locked one? Get out of the way, Bobs! God, oh dear. Tick, tick, boom! Right, whatever. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. We've met Learned Pinner from the first game, and uh, I guess now I'll just continue to look around the nearby areas, won't I? Yeah, I will. Yep. I'm also gonna... Am I gonna give myself a level yet? Like I said I would? Nah, not yet. But yeah, next time, I guess we'll go to Eastern Madab. We might as well get all of Madab done. So thanks for watching. God, two parts of basically nothing but reading. I don't apologise, actually. Whoa. Next time, Eastern Madab. Thanks for watching. See you next time. God, might not actually be part of the town, it might just be leaving. I don't know. Pee off.